Absolutely beautiful Kalahari this morning. It is a pretty misty overcast morning, but we woke up to find a number of wildlife around the camp. Um, it's a big honor and a privilege for us to be standing here. We're doing one of, I want to say, probably the funnest experiences that one can have in Africa. And uh, I have the honor of doing it alongside a very close personal friend, Chris. We've been We've been chasing critters in Africa for some time now together and we've done a lot of fun and also stupid stuff. <laughs> we had a lot of fun over the years and um, I think this is going to be a very memorable one. This is going to be Big Five number two, the second animal of the Big Five that Chris is going to be chasing. And on this trip he's going to wrap up number three as well. So over the years we've definitely built on a friendship and a bond. And uh, today we're going to face one of Africa's most dangerous and most renowned animals, uh, the African lion. And we're going to do it the old-fashioned way on foot. We are in the northwest province of South Africa with a phenomenal team, fantastic people. Um, quite excited just because of how and with whom we are doing this. Um, Chris will be using 375, my personal 375. I think that rifle's killed one or two critters in its career. Um, very special to be able to do this all together and then having Jeff with us sharing in this experience. It's not every day that we get to do this and we don't know for how long we'll be able to enjoy this. But yeah, let's see what the day holds. The weather's fantastic. does not seem that it's going to be a very hot day. See if we can pick up some tracks and, you know, find a worthy cat on the other end. Let's do it. Good luck. the trackers are in front they're trying to pick up fresh tracks um, lions are mostly nocturnal um, they sleep for about 20 hours of the day four hours they're quite active trying to hunt see if we pick up any fresh tracks by working the grids when it all comes down we start getting on the sticks ready to shoot um, be extremely vocal Freddie and I are going to be communicating with each other and with you um, just listen, there might be a little point where we're going to point out, like, do you see the, this branch? Do you see this? Do you see that? Can you hit that? Do you see the main? Can you hit it behind the main or about three inches inside the main? Um, lots of communication. 
once you get ready to shoot, I'm going to step to the side a little bit, just disperse us. Um, you'll be able to shoot, obviously, but if the lion does single out somebody, I am off to the side a little bit, and then I can get a good solid frontal shot if it does choose to approach us. But you shoot whenever we say shoot. Uh, it's not one of those where you have to be stingy on the bullets. So have fun, and uh, hopefully we're all safe and happy enjoying a cigar tonight and celebrating a fantastic lion hunt. Sounds great. Four feet to the right. Yeah. There's no shot right now. We're gonna either have to turn him a little bit or reposition ourselves. He's lying directly see, facing what, us. What do you see? His face. I see the ears and the black mark on the, on the man. Yeah, yeah. there's a black mark like the metal part on his face. Yeah. Towards us, yes? No. He's, he's, he's uh, quartering towards us. Do you see the black line of the main? The black line, line right in the yes. middle. Yes. Do you see just to the left of it, there's a black mark as well? Yeah. Do you see that yellow spot? A little spot? bit lower than the black line. Yes. Do you see that yellow spot in between the two black? I do. Okay. Where that yellow kind of fades low into the grass, literally between where the black disappears. Do you see that? Punch him right there. <laughs> reload, reload. Behind the shoulder. Yes. Okay. Fill up your mag. Fill up your mag. Fill up your mag. Come with me. Finish him, press finish him. Hello, Jeff. Fill up your mag. It will it will not have a up. We can wrap it up, Chris. Stay there with Freddy. Right there.
Look, look at all the bushes he dragged along with it. Okay, let's go check it. Try and explain that to somebody. I got a little excited. <laughs> a little. Okay, give me that gun. Now you take a big moment to yourself. started out as a very calm morning actually we were still on the back of the truck um, trying to cut some tracks and having our same old bullshit stories about calibers and bullets and hand loads and all the fun stuff um, we came around a corner actually where we passed earlier and you know lo and behold just spotted the ears and the eyes of of the cat in the tall grass and I think um, both Jeff and Chris can now attest to the fact that there's something about lions in the tall grass. Um, as big as this cat is, we've got maybe two and a half, three foot of grass here behind us and completely disappears in, in grass that's not that tall. It just brings a completely different perspective and um, immediately determined that we're going to uh, give it a go had a stalk in, uh, change positions a couple of times, just trying to find the sweet spot. Um, initially when we found him, he was facing head on and uh, you know, anybody that knows something, it's, there's just nothing to shoot at. So we kept playing the angles, playing the angles, got in between the, the black thorn and set up the sticks. A little bit closer than what I think most of us initially anticipated. Um, there was literally two black spots that were uh, protruding from his from his mane through the grass, and that's right in there is where Chris had to shoot. And uh, after going back and forth on shot placement, like, do you see this? Do you see that? Chris put a cracker on the shot, an absolute cracker. We we actually identified where it was, right on the shoulder, at the angle, perfectly double lunged the cat. The amount of blood everywhere just proves the point. Um, but then after that, after that first yeah, shot, he got up, took off. As the cat took off running, uh, Chris backed him up, himself yes. up pretty well. And I think from there, um, everything changed completely. 
Chris, run us through exactly what happened after that second shot. <clears throat> I don't know. It was quite quick. Everything happened fast. Um, we hit the cat laying down. He turned, put two more rounds in him. He decided he didn't want to run away. Uh, so he, he crossed. Uh, there was a bush between us. He stopped about 12 feet. Uh, ate a bullet from the 468, another from the 375. Uh, and then wound up dying 15, 16 feet uh, from where we were standing. <clears throat> very fast. Looks like a very small cat in the grass. Very large cat, 10 feet away. Finish him. Uh, Chris, finish him. But we got the job done. Everybody stayed safe, calm, kept shooting until the job was done. It just goes to show dangerous game hunting in Africa is just, it's different. You know, um, you can do a, a hundred lions, a hundred buffalo, and then there's that one, one day. Um, it changes very fast. But the thrill of that's why people keep coming back and people want to pursue these big animals. Um, they're just built different in Africa. And uh, today proved that point, it really solidified that point that it changes within a, within a heartbeat. A uh, phenomenal experience to, to be able to share alongside friends. Um, we've been doing this for a couple of years together now. Uh, I think we spend more time together than your average pH and client. Um, because it is at that point where the relationship has surpassed that. Chris and I are, are besties, as I'd like to call it. Uh, we spend a lot of time together and we've been very, very privileged over the years to do a multitude of very exciting uh, hunts together. And this one, I think, is right up there. It's top tier. It's a phenom phenomenal experience to be able to share together. And uh, Jeff, I'm very happy that you are here. You know, it's your first time in Africa and this is your introduction. To African hunting it's it's awesome it's pretty cool from my side and everybody that that's part of the team here that put this together and Freddie thank you very much Freddie's team it's fantastic and somehow Jock got this one he, he caught this one uh, <laughs> because the previous time he had some trouble with Buffalo but uh, <laughs> I'll take that one as my fault now I think this is gonna turn out as much as we are talking the video should actually do the talking because once you see what, what happened here, I think it's going to come out outstanding. But good shooting. That's Thank a, you. That's another special one that we, we get to share. Thank you, everybody.